Hello, Aaronette. We need to talk about something. Something's kind of been on my mind for a while. So, as we all know, uh, presidential run has begun, and uh, candidates being chosen, been chosen. So, I need to make this perfectly clear. I tend to stay away and stay out of politics because it's not my thing, and I don't really know a whole lot about exactly how politics work. I don't really follow it because I don't quite understand it. I do understand, you know, certain particular things about politics, at least from my own personal standing, how it should be is that, as far as I'm concerned, everybody should be treated equally. I mean, that's kind of the way it should be. That'd be the the morally properly way in which it should be done. But that is not how it how it is in this country at all. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, because I'm a gamer. I'm a nerd. You know, I'm a movie buff. I'm a gamer. You know, it's what I talk about. You know, and I actually got shit a while ago. Uh, somebody randomly hopped on my channel and commented, you know, saying that, basically saying that, oh, well, what you're talking about, it really doesn't matter, da da da, da. you know, calling me, you know, a cynical fag, because I don't talk about shit that is, you know, that's more important, and, you know, and for me, it's like, well, where exactly, what exactly were you expecting to gain from that? I mean, if you've ever seen my channel at all, and how the hell did you even find me? I'm so minuscule, but... God damn it, we gotta talk about Trump. Cause, uh, I mean, if anything, I am not a Republican. I am not. Uh, never have been, never will be. And, uh, I just don't understand it all. Cause, if there was one thing that I always thought for sure about politics, was that the only way that you could ever really run for president? Clearly, you know, you had to be born in the United States, obviously. But I would have thought that in order to even be able to be considered to be able to run for president, that you would have had to at least had a couple of years of involvement in politics, in that either you had to have been a mayor of a small town or on the Senate for a couple of years, or just something like that, so you could get a firm grasp of how politics work. No, apparently you don't. You just gotta be born in the USA. So do you know what that means? That means that somebody like me could run for president if I wanted to. But the reason I don't do that is because Fuck no, I don't want that kind of power. I don't want that kind of responsibility. Like I said earlier, I know nothing about politics. I know nothing about how the country or the world works or runs. Why would I have such a ridiculous ego to think that I could somehow manage any of that? No fucking way. And a friend of mine told me that, well, if you had the right political people around you, people to give you good information about what you need to know, and if you actually listen to them, you could probably be okay. But Donald Trump has displayed himself over the last several, hell, over the last several years, last several decades, as, I mean, I love how he tries to claim that he is a brilliant businessman when he didn't earn his own money on his own. If you bother to do any actual research on him, you would know that his daddy gave him money, money that he didn't earn, and he was already born into money. Him and his family were already filthy fucking rich. And just about, I don't know how many of his projects, but I know quite a few of his other projects that he's done, various buildings and various other things that he's tried to make or put a lot of money in, a lot of them failed. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So he, so already on that mark, he's a terrible businessman on that part. 
he's never dabbled in politics, and I can already tell you just from the fact that all he does, and he didn't even bother to engage in one of the uh, debate formats that they did, I believe for the Republican Party a while ago, he actually refused to attend, which just goes to show that he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And also considering whenever he does get into any quote-unquote debate with anybody, whether it's via a news interview or anything like that, all he does is he just, shout, is he just shouts and he argues. That's all he does. He, he just gets louder until he dulls out everybody else until only his voice is heard. Hell, there was an interviewer who had to hang up on him because he wouldn't shut up. He just kept on going and going and babbling, and the guy told him, uh, "Mr. Trump, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to cut off this interview." And he just kept on going. So finally, he just cut the asshole off. And frankly, I don't blame him. He's also pre presented himself as being incredibly ignorant, incredibly racist, and somebody who should never be allowed to be given this power. I'm actually surprised that the Republican Party decided to pick him as their candidate. I guess because they figure, well, he'll be good for when we can, you know, roll through certain policies, you know, that we wish to do. He'll be perfectly good for being like, yeah, sure, fine, whatever. Because they like their best to be the dumbest, I suppose, but... You know, um, and a friend of mine a while ago made a joke about how a friend of his said that, well, when he rolls into presidency, I'll be getting my sniper rifle ready. I don't think that kind of stuff is funny. And, you know, I don't really ever wish death or harm upon anybody, even if they do so richly deserve it, because you gotta be better than they are. But, dear God. Internet. Donald Trump cannot be allowed to be our president. The sad and funny thing is, if he were elected president, I mean, if it did happen, I would, I would kind of hope that it doesn't. But would much really change? Probably not. If you're white, probably not. For everybody else. It'd probably be more or less the same, maybe just a little bit worse. It's kind of the sad thing, really, because, you know, because if you're white in America, you're fine. You got really no worries. Job security, home security, you're fine. If you're of any other nationality or color or creed or anything like that, you're fucked. Nobody gives a shit about you. <sighs> Things gotta change. Hopefully for the better. Anyway, I apologize for this rant, but, you know, because I don't normally like to get political, because a lot of the time I don't know what I'm talking about. But, <sighs> sometimes you just gotta say what's on your heart and what's in your mind. As long as if it's not ignorant or racist or utterly stupid and hopefully somewhat or well researched anyway internet let's try and do better huh take care of yourselves